We were talking about leadership. Uh, this is a mayor. Maybe in 50 years, we will replace the word mayor by Boris. This is the Boris of London, the Boris of Paris, the Boris of Berlin, and maybe the Bloom Boris of New York. Mayors um, really are managers of contradictions. And in the urban age, we depend on mayors. And we cities need the best mayors. And mayors will be the future leaders, I think, at the end of the 21st century, because economically, cities are much more important than nation states. And when you saw the face of your prime minister, when he was looking at Boris, when he was talking about Darwin, bicycles, London, and the radio, you saw in his face that he saw some truth in the, some danger in this man, and he was really missing Ken Livingston. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, again, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the end is near. Not because I've listened to this forum, but the end is near, at least the end of this conference in London. With this conference in London, my time as managing director of the Alfred Hell Society of Deutsche Bank will also come to an end after nine years and eight months. It has been a good, a wonderful period, as our work has helped create and build the Urban Age program. The Urban Age, as you know and you see it, is an international network of mayors, or of Boris's, urban planners, policymakers, architects, industrialists, as well as academics and researchers from many different disciplines and from nearly all countries of the world. This network meets to exchange ideas, and this is very important, not teach lessons, but learn from one another and find better solutions for the future. And a defining characteristic of our conferences is that we strive to see the, challenging, the challenges facing us and even ourselves through the eyes of others. In the process, we seek to understand other perspectives and discover any misperspectives as well as the underlying causes. We created the Deutsche Bank Urban Age Award to make the invisible in a city visible. Uh, Juan Schloss was talking about the slums. To make the marginal areas of megacities, which are neither urban neighborhoods nor villages, but only illegal settlements of people more visible so that they can be included in urban planning for the future. Again, to learn to see the world through the eyes of others is a key element of a grammar of success for political action. The Urban Age Project is a wonderful gift that Deutsche Bank has given to cities around the globe. It is a social dividend that Deutsche Bank provides each year, and I consider it a great honor and a privilege to have worked on making this possible. It cannot be taken for granted that the bank fosters independent thinking that does not have to be oriented to business interests, and I hope that Deutsche Bank will continue to support Alfred Hell Society and the London School of Economics in the future. My successor, Thomas Matusek, and you're welcome will enrich the Alfred Hell Society together with Ute Weiland with new ideas in the future. Personally, I will concentrate my teaching activities and my work with the Bookings Institution, especially in the Asia Pacific. It's a fascinating region that challenges all our creativity. Now I have long thought about what famous last word after nearly 10 years I should use to say farewell to you. Well, as I know that most of the famous last words have been invented later, I don't want to come up with my own creation here, but I would like to share a quote that I have often considered to be an inspiration and maybe, no, not maybe, and a leitmotiv in my work. It's from Max Weber, Politics as Vocation, and this is your official English translation. I quote, I have never let myself be trumped in an argument by someone simply because he has claimed the privilege of greater age. But by the same token, the mere fact that someone is 20 and I'm over 50 does not in itself convince me that his achievement should make me faint with admiration. Age is not the decisive factor here. And now comes the most important sentence, I think, the sentence I really like. What matters is the trained ability to scrutinize the realities of life ruthlessly, die geschulte Rücksichtslosigkeit des Blickes in Realitäten des Lebens. 
the ability to scrutinize the realities of life restlessly, to withstand them and to measure up with them inwardly, end of quote. We constantly need to train our ability to scrutinize the realities of life restlessly. If we do, our creativity, our readiness to embrace the new will not waver, and therefore, as concerning cities, I'm skeptical but optimistic for the future. I would like to thank all of you, but I would like especially to mention five people with whom the Urban Age project would not exist. This is Traudel Herrhausen, who allowed us to use the name of her husband. She encouraged and supported us so that through our work we could live up to his name. And the wonderful Richard Sennett. In 2004, he invited me to have a cup of coffee with him. And you can see what came out of this cup of coffee. And whenever Richard offers you a cup of coffee, please say yes, because something great may come out of it. I would like to thank Philip Rode for, above all, <laughs> his patience with me and for the wealth of ideas and dedication he brought to the Urban Age project. But where would be this project without Ricky Burdett? Following our first conference in New York in 2005, we became friends when he said at the end of the conference to me, yes, Wolfgang, we have done it. And Ricky, do it again. <laughs> Ricky is the soul of the urban age. Well, most of all, I would like to thank Ute Weiland. Well, she's protected me from myself. Sometimes she was not successful, but most of the time. Without her inspiration, her criticism, her precision, and her diligence, I would never have achieved so much. She ideally makes up for everything that I lack. She will remain, and as Ricky is the soul, uh, Ute is the guardian angel of the program. Ute, you will remain, and therefore, I would like to hand over to you, to whom the future belongs, to have the last word, which is also a new beginning. Wolfgang, this is not a farewell, this is not only a goodbye, maybe as the director of the Alfred Herrhausen Society, but you have been and you always will be a big, great inspiration for all of us. And as the father of the Urban Age, you will always belong to the Urban Age family. Thomas Matusek and I will make sure that we continue successfully next year in Rio. But the final words also belong to a lot of thank you, first of all, to the audience, to our speakers for your great contributions, Ricky and Philip for your great work and for your friendship. We had about 120 people behind the curtain helping us setting up this conference. Thank you to all of you. I cannot mention all of them. But because this conference seems to be a little bit male dominated, I would like to highlight three woman, Anke Langhardt from Triad, uh, who is the production manager of the conference and helped setting up the whole thing. Louisa Greenbaum from LSE, who is the conference manager and uh, was dealing with all the speakers and logistics and so on. And our press agency, Jane Quinn from Boltner Quinn. Thanks to all of you. And Wolfgang was always talking about the grammar of success for cities, which we might not have found yet. But I think we are on a good way to that, to find better solutions for cities. And I think the solution is us. So this is the last word for today. I hope you to see you all next year in Rio, or many most of you, and uh, have a safe trip home. Merry Christmas time. For those of you who would like to use the bus to the hotel or to St. Pancras, it's outside. Thank you for everyone.